What up, what up, peace. Normally, I don't crank out more than one video a week. I just did two today. This is your second video for the day. I'm over at Clean City, washing my clothes. And uh, notice from the sign, it says no entry for safety and customers and so forth, right? No mask, whatever like that. And hey, I don't have a problem with that. Whether I agree with it or not, I'm not even gonna disclose all that. But you do know that is illegal. No company, no uh, corporation or business can force you to do whatever, whatever, just to obtain services from their business. However, when it comes to law and law enforcement authority, they're gonna just tell you to patronize enough business, you know, take your business elsewhere. So it's pretty much just gonna be a losing battle because the police don't want no drama. They don't want to lock you up for, you know, disobeying or whatever uh, unlawful law that's, <laughs> you know, it's not really a law anyway. So they're not gonna go all hard like that to try to enforce that and nor should they. Also, you go in court for this mess, they're gonna, they're gonna tell you like, take your business somewhere else. You know, they can't force the um, company to, uh, you know, get rid of their law because you don't like the law or whatever rules they have in there. Like, if you remember a long time ago, um, some stores used to have the check your bag thing. You know, they give you a little number or something and you, you can shop, but whatever you bought from another store, you must <laughs> check it in and so forth. Now, just as I said, with no mask, right? Look what we got right here. This lady was in here, and I hope you can tell us, lady. <laughs> She's in here, you know, uh, handling her business, whatever, whatever. She's in there basically washing her clothes, folding her clothes, chilling. No mask, no gloves, nothing. Is she making a statement? Does she have the Frankenstein project and we don't know it? I can't answer any of those questions. I can tell you one thing, she don't work there. I know that. But guess what she does? When she comes in, she sprays and wipes the table all the way down before she starts folding her clothes. But yet she don't have a mask on, right? <laughs> and no gloves, nothing else. But sure enough taking care of the table to put her clothes on. So it's not like I'm taking shots at her or anything like that because she pretty much taking shots at herself. But again, they didn't enforce whatever rules they made up. They didn't say, hey, look, you can't come in here without a mask, whatever like that. They said nothing to her. She's the only one in the entire laundry room with no mask on. Everybody else running around looking like that going uh, Cobra Commander and Destro and Storm Shadow. <laughs> if you know about G.I. Joe, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But this lady is just, you know, she handling her business. She ain't even worried about nobody. Like, she basically was staring me up and down. Because I had a mask on. Like, I'm looking foolish. Which I probably do. I mean, whatever. Trust me, I hate what's going on right now. I don't like wearing a mask. You know, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired of all this stuff, honestly. I ain't even going to lie to you tired of the mask, the gloves, it's like if I wanted to be a surgeon, I would have took the test. Now, let's get to these machines. What you have before you here, this machine is 450. Decent size machine. And um, I kind of feel like I should have used that one. I didn't. But, you know, whatever. It's okay. I had enough money. Now this one here is a $7 machine, the one I did use. A little bit bigger than the 450 machine, but almost a $3 difference for not much more space. It's kind of like, you know, it's robbery. It, it ain't even kind of, it's robbery. You're getting robbed. Now we have the $9 machine. Now this one here is a little bit bigger than a $7 machine. There's someone here on YouTube that actually did a whole synopsis of the whole thing with the sizes. 
But they didn't do it with the washing machines. They did it with glass, with cups. And um, those cups were showing how you could have a small, the same size small soda turn out to be a, um, what you call it? The small fits in the medium, it also fits in the large. They try to sell you the large, but it's the same daggone cup, no matter what. And it's not just restaurants that do it, it's a lot of different businesses that do this type of thing. You got um, the ice cream parlors do it. They sell you the same amount of ice cream. Let me see, let me pick one of them out. Let me pick one of them out. Uh, Cold Stone Creamery. No location in particular. But yeah, they're great with that one. What a place like Cold Stone Creamery would do it. They'll have like the same amount of ice cream they put in a small cup. I think it's like it, love it, and gotta have it or some mess like that. And they'll give you the same amount of ice cream and just give you bigger cups. So it's the same size you're eating, whatever the case like that. But that's a whole nother story with that stuff there. But as far as laundry rooms, yeah, they do the same game. And if you haven't noticed, over the years, these machines that they have in the, in the laundry rooms, they, they don't clean the way they used to. Sometimes, in some cases, you may have to run that stuff through twice, depending on how soiled your clothes are. I mean, what I usually do is I'll probably put the soap not just in the top of the um, machine, I'll put it on the actual garment as well because that way it adds another cleaning layer or whatever like that to make sure everything is, you know, comes out clean. But um, also another thing, you don't want to stuff it too high to the top because that, that'll actually affect things too, you know. Yeah, I know I should probably have my own washing machine in the house, but that's electricity. Anyways, holla at me, Instagram, the underscore, underscore new underscore inspiration1974 on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.